So they were our first family pictures. When Melanie and Rick Ciro decided to start a family later in life, they knew it carried a risk for pregnancy problems, but that didn't deter their plans. We knew that, you know, we wanted to have children and that we were going to have to not waste any time to do it. Before the Ciro's celebrated their third anniversary, Zachary was here and baby number two was on the way. It went very smoothly. It was uneventful, so it was a joyous event. Both of them really. Because of Melanie's age, 37, her doctor offered a standard quad test, something she did. Maternal fetal medicine doctor Marshall Sanoma says it's a simple blood test that shows a woman's risk for genetic defects. Never tells you for sure the baby has a problem or does not have the problem you're looking for. It just says her risk is greater than or less than her predetermined risk by her age. If the quad test does show that the mother is at risk of having a child with a genetic abnormality, then an amniocentesis is offered under the guidance of ultrasound technology with a needle like this. The fluid is removed over a period of a couple of minutes and then it's sent to a laboratory for a very specialized analysis. Amniocentesis is the gold standard for diagnosing genetic disorders, analyzing every chromosome. It'll identify any numerical abnormality uh, of the chromosomes, meaning a whole extra copy of a chromosome. It also can identify broken chromosomes. Defects are reported on a karyotype with nearly 100% accuracy. The most common findings are on chromosome 18, known as Edwards syndrome, and on 21, Down syndrome. The patient would be offered the ability to continue the pregnancy. A secondary alternative would be the patient would be offered the ability to in the pregnancy. When babies do test positive for a genetic disorder, the termination rate is anywhere from 10 to 90 percent. It's a decision parents make after genetic counseling and advice from family members, even church leaders. Genetics are personal choices. What people do with that information is up to them. So we offer it to all patients and if they have an interest in it, we proceed. That information is not always something parents to be want to know, especially in the conservative South. What color are you going to color that pumpkin? The Ciro's only did the quad test, showing a slight risk for Down syndrome, a condition Carter was diagnosed with at birth. If I had to do it all over again, I probably would not have done the test just because I was so freaked out um, and scared the, re the remainder of my pregnancy, and it wouldn't have changed anything. Yet many families want to know what's happening in utero, using the science to prepare for a child with challenges or keep that from becoming a reality. At your service with HealthCast, Brittany Glazer, KBLC 7 News.